All right, regardless of what people will tell you on the internet, you can back up your Nintendo Switch 1 and Nintendo Switch 2 games locally. I'm gonna tell you how to do that in this video. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do that. They're kind of the same. One of them is gonna be a little bit more long-term storage. And no, this solution is not perfect. There's honestly not a perfect way to do this, but in the last video I talked about going all digital and how I've done this for four years, most of the negative comments from that video are talking about how reliant I have to be on the eShop to re-download games, to just get my games in general. But you really don't have to be solely reliant on the eShop. You can back these up. I'm gonna show you how right after this. All right, right now is probably a great time to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. It's Savage Raven, formerly known as Skull & Co. Right here I have their brand new grip case. This is what I've been using on my Nintendo Switch 2. It was the Neo Grip. I was going back and forth for a while, but now I've landed on the grip case. I like it a lot because not only does it use the same grips that the Neo Grip uses and it comes with three different sizes, but it also fits the front cover of the stand case on it. So I get the best of both worlds. The front cover of the stand Stand grip and the versatility of the Neo Grip, and you get it all in one in the grip case. They've got all kinds of other stuff on their website, though. As I said, the Neo Grip, the Stand Grip, they've got docks, they've got chargers, they've got things for other handhelds, they've got things for your controllers. You can check out their website in the link down below or the pinned comment. And if you want to get a little bit of a deal, you can use code Drip Media at checkout for 10% off. I mean, they've got something for just about everybody. So check out the site. Like I said, it's linked down below. Use code Drip Media at checkout for 10% off. And thank you to Savage Raven for sponsoring this video. All right, the first way to do this, you probably already know, pretty self-explanatory. You need micro SD express cards. Right now, as of the recording of this video, I think you can get three sizes. You can get the 256, the 512, and the one terabyte is about $200 right now. I think you can get them for about $186 on Amazon. That's really expensive. These will go down in price. I think the best bet, Jeev and I were just talking as we were filming a podcast episode, we were just talking about the best deal on these Express cards. Right now, it's at Walmart. There's one there that is a 512, I believe. It's about 80 bucks. That's gonna be the best deal you can get. I think it was actually cheaper. Jeep said he saw it for like 60, so take a look at Walmart. The brand is on, it's O-N-N. That's the one you want right now. These one terabyte ones will get cheaper later on as we go. Right now, that's the way to go. Get the 512. The one terabyte is just, it's too much money to spend on that right now. They will get cheaper. I waited to get my one terabyte card for my Switch One until they got down to about a hundred bucks. They started at around 200 too, even more. I think they were almost 300 at one point. These are really cheap now. The storage will get cheaper. So wait to buy the big ones. You're probably gonna need more than one anyway if you're gonna be going completely digital and you buy a lot of games. If you're somebody who's trying to actually collect digital games, you're gonna need more than one anyway. Just get the cheaper one right now. By the time you need another one, it's probably gonna be way more realistic to get the one terabyte. And they may even have like a one and a half or two terabyte card at that point that you can get. So basically what you're gonna do with both of these systems that I'm gonna tell you about, you wanna get your cards, and then whatever games you put on there, you need to make a list so you know what is on each card. You can do this in a PDF file on your computer. You can write it in your notes, you know, probably a PDF file or something like that. Maybe even a little piece of paper that you can put in a case like this to go with them so you know. But you have to have some way to keep track of what is on what card. I mean, you could get crazy, delete everything, and then just start putting things in alphabetical order on cards. You can put all the A stuff, B, C, whatever you wanna do, that's that's a little much. I don't think that's necessary, especially with the caveats that you're gonna have to probably go through later on in, in your life as far as collecting games digitally. So you can do whatever way you want. The point is, you're gonna need these cards. You can keep them on these cards, put them in a little case like this. I'm gonna be going over stuff like this in another video. Uh, that's probably already out if you're watching this one. If not, it's gonna be the next one out later this week. I'll make sure and put it at the end so you can watch it. But uh, you, you can just put your little cards in there, something like this, have a nice place to keep them safe, stored. That is one way to go. There is another way. Now you can do this and it's, uh, it does require one extra step, but it's going to, it's gonna make it so you don't have to have so many micro SD express cards if you don't wanna do that. Let's say you just wanna have one card that you you put games on 
and that's the one you're gonna be using. But you don't wanna deal with the eShop, you don't wanna deal with a bunch of cards. This is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna get something like this, or this, or this. Some type of a hard drive where you can back up all your games to. Now, this is something that I've heard a lot of people say you cannot do, but you actually can, but there are, there are a few little things that you can't do. I'm gonna tell you what those are, but how you're gonna do this is once you get all your games moved to your SD card in the Switch. You can do that in the menu, it's very simple. If you need me to make a video on that, I will. I'm not gonna go into detail about how to do that, it's very easy. You go in there, you move them all to the SD card, then all you have to do is get some type of card reader, put that in the card reader, hook it up to your PC, then just take the folder. It's a Nintendo folder, it's called Nintendo. Just pull that onto your PC. It does work on Mac. I watched a video earlier that said it doesn't work well on Mac, but I had, I had no issue with it. It worked just fine. So you basically just drag and drop it onto the hard drive. It's gonna take a while to transfer over depending on how many games you have, but you can just store those right there. They don't have to be moved anywhere. You can keep them stored right there. And then if you want to, uh, if you want to put them on a card, all you have to do is format that card in your Switch. So to format it, you put it in your Switch, it'll say, uh, you know, it needs to be formatted. You press the button, it'll restart your Switch, it's formatted. Then you can take that card, put it back in the computer, drag that Nintendo folder back onto it. It's gonna take a minute to, to get it all on there, but that's it, that's all you do. It's very, very simple to keep your game stored there. Now you can also, upgrade to a bigger card that way. That's exactly how you upgrade to a bigger card. You're gonna put the file that says Nintendo on the hard drive or on your PC, and then you're gonna format the new memory card in your Switch, then put it in the computer, put those games on there, and it'll work in your Switch. Now here's the problem, and this is the thing that's gonna be kind of an issue. You're gonna have to update your library every time you get a new Switch. So if you're somebody who likes to get the special edition Switches or you're somebody who likes to uh, to upgrade to the next thing, whatever it is. If you get a new one and you try to put those cards in to that Switch, it's gonna tell you that it needs to be formatted. The games that you take off of your Switch are formatted. They have something in them that knows. If you try to put that card in another Switch, even if your account is on there, which is dumb, I feel like it should be tied to the account, not the Switch, but I do understand why. Anyway, if you try to do that, it's gonna tell you it needs to be reformatted. You're gonna have to start over. So, if you do that, if you buy a new Switch, you are gonna have to put your library back into storage again to update it for that specific Switch. That is a very important part of this. That does suck. That's the caveat of all of it. it, it it's a pain, but that's how you do this. As of right now, those are the best methods to do this. For me, for me, I have not put anything on my computer long-term yet. I do plan to, to do that. I'm kind of waiting to see what kind of special edition comes out first, because I know whatever the first one is, I'm probably gonna end up getting. That's what I'm gonna be using. So I'll wait and see. But another thing that you can also think about is if you buy these special editions and you still have your old Switch, as long as the Switch unit itself isn't anything crazy, that Switch unit is really all you need to worry about. It doesn't matter about the Joy-Cons, dock, anything else. So if you wanna keep just your unit and not have to do that, maybe you can sell the tablet off for a special edition or something like that. As long as it's the same screen and we're not talking about a Switch 2 OLED or something, you know, maybe not that big of a deal. We don't know what those special editions are gonna look like. There's a lot of other variables there. You know, you just kinda, kinda take it as it comes, but um, that's how you do this. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I know this might have been a little bit confusing. I got another video right here i want you guys to watch if you're going all digital these are the things you're gonna need to make this whole digital life of yours that you're trying to live much easier so click this video that's gonna do it for this one guys as always thank you so much for watching this video please leave a like make sure you're subscribed we'll see you in the next one